LSU is ranked in the top 50 for party schools in America, and with partying comes drinking and drugs. Alcohol usage is more likely in college students than any other demographic. Around 80% of college students drink alcohol, but there are still many misconceptions about it. As you get higher and higher with more amounts, it gets more and more and more dangerous. You can find out how much alcohol is in your bloodstream with a breathalyzer test. This number is called the blood alcohol content, or BAC. However, the effects of alcohol are different for every person, no matter what your BAC is at the end of the night. You can't look at somebody and go, oh, she's wobbling around she's clearly at a point three and he's just talking a lot and he's only at a point two because it may be absolutely the opposite for example a female who is 150 pounds and drinks five beverages in two hours could have a bac of point one but a female who is 115 will drink only four beverages in the same amount of time for a bac of point one so it's a very relative number. There are many other factors that add to how drunk a person can get, such as weight, how fast the body burns that alcohol, gender, how often a person drinks, and even genetics. And it's not a specific number for a specific effect. Drugs also play a role in the effects of alcohol, whether they're over the counter or not. What other drugs are in your body and not just like um illicit drugs, even pharmaceutical medications, those can change on how you metabolize alcohol. So it really varies a lot um, from every person in every setting. A very common party trend among college students is getting crossfaded, mixing alcohol with marijuana. THC can lead to people not feeling the full force of the alcohol they're drinking. And that's going to affect many of your perceptions, including your own self-perception of how intoxicated you are. Both alcohol and THC are depressants, Depressants reduce stimulation, causing the brain and body to have a slower connection with each other. THC compromises your ability to have any kind of internal feedback. Doctors caution that you should learn your limits and practice safe drinking when you can.